this light, this one candle. I cling to it in the darkness, in the deep waters. I let it lead me, not always sure about where I'm headed, where it's taken me. In the cold, lonely seasons, the light urges me forward, illuminating this step and the next and the next. It might look like I'm wandering, aimless, but with my gaze fixed on the light, my face reflecting the light source, my steps are sure. My direction as true as a sextant. Am I alone? No. Aloneness is a deception, a distraction, an untruth that tempts me to stop, to look away, to look for another path. I don't know why I sometimes want to walk into, to hide in the darkness. When I know what I need is to be exposed, illuminated. A child of the light. A city on a hill. This candle is a light for your path, a lamp for your feet. You can't yet see where the light leads, but its direction is true, trustworthy and good. You are a child of the light, a child of the day, so do not walk in darkness any longer. Follow the light, walk in the light, Encourage the timid, the disheartened. Take tender care of those who are weak. Be patient with everyone. Carry each other's burdens. There was a time when you were not people, but now you are the people of God, people of the light. There was a time when you had not received mercy, but now, here, you receive mercy. Walk in the light as he is in the light and have fellowship with one another and walk together for you are the light of the world. Send out your light and your truth. Your light and your truth lead us. Lead us to your holy mountain. We are coming the place where you dwell. Come to the altar of God, to God, the source of our exceeding joy. Light your candle and come to the altar. Join this city on a hill and praise our God, who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. <laughs>